What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, B-Hard Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. The original hot boy himself. Telling the truth. Nah, hey, nah, I'm just telling the truth. Ooh. You nah, dig? I mean, sorry, speaking of telling the truth, you know, hey, you know, you know what? Somebody else took a play out of your playbook of telling the truth, not hating, man. You know? What? Yeah, Boosie. He was telling the truth, not hating. On his new single, Ungrateful. Now, first of all, the man came with the balls. Oh, uh, 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 you know what? Boosie always coming with the balls, man. Come on you know now. What I'm saying? Like, one thing about it, when Boosie get in that 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 pain rap and he, and he like go to expressing itself, yeah. that's the Boosie that, you know, I believe the world love. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah, man. So I listen to the 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 song, man, and I honestly like the song, you feel me? I mean, I was listening to the song, man, and I felt the man's pain. It seems like he's just going through so goddamn much just dealing like with it. all these haters out here. Yeah. He tried to raise his kids, going back and forth with the baby mama. Yeah. I'm like, well, goddamn, Boosie, what the hell's going on? Uh, he going through some things, man, and I think, like I say, Boosie always speak about it bro you feel me like that's one thing that i respect about him man he speak his mind he don't bite his tongue you know and any man that speak their mind and don't bite their tongue you can't do nothing but respect i think like people be getting it twisted you know what i'm saying when people go to telling the truth not hating just exactly. because a person speaking their mind and telling you how they feel or how they fact you gotta respect it man you feel me and i respect it to the most now, at the end of the song, you know, or the ungrateful song, he hauled off and said, you know what, I just thought Turk felt the same way as me, and he was hurt. He was like, hey, man, Turk, where you at? But you don't yeah. feel the same way as nobody. So, I mean, what did you think when you heard the man mention your name in the song? Of course, man, you know, if I didn't do my homework, you know, people bought it to me and like, man, Boosie mm. dissing you, Boosie dissing you. <laughs> and first thing I'm saying, because I know Boo, you feel me? I say, nah, Boosie ain't dissing me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You feel me? Because that ain't the type of time that we even on. You feel yeah. me? We ain't on that. But if I got to say something, he got to say something, we going to talk to each other, you feel me? Like, we both men. Yeah. And we like he say, we both from Louisiana, so, you know what I'm saying? We stand on what we stand on. But I didn't feel like Boosie, you know what I'm saying? And I think Boosie didn't understand my message to him you feel me what i was speaking on like and i and i keep saying it like to 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 people but i don't think people actually get it but what i was speaking about is the disrespect man mm. you know what i'm saying like you can tell somebody something and you know articulate your words and communicate it a little better to where people receive it yeah. you know what i'm saying i wasn't really talking about how he felt about a rap because I feel the same way about rats, mm. you know, that a lot of people feel. Not just how Boosie feel, but just because you ratted don't mean I got to be disrespectful towards you as a man, as a woman, you know what I'm saying? Because that don't have nothing to do with me, you feel me? That's your business. If you choose to go out like Willie Lump Lump, then hey, man, go ahead on and do your thing. Mm -hmm. I know to stay my distance. I know to stay out the way, yeah. you feel me? So my thing is, you know who you know you should be able to tell a person certain things the same way how I'm talking and telling Boosie. We don't always have to turn it into, you know, no beef. Yeah. You feel me? And I think he missed the message. Mm. So for him to say, Turk, I thought you felt the same way. What? Feel the same way about you being disrespectful? Nah, I don't feel that way. You feel me? I feel like you are OG in the game and you can be respectful and Speak your mind and it'll be receptive. You feel yeah. me? So, you know, and I don't think he did a good job at doing that. Yeah. And I didn't take that song as no diss, man. You feel me? But a misunderstanding. And if he was disappointed, I'm disappointed in the disrespect yeah. that I know he could be more respectful because, you know, I mean, he an OG. Exactly. I mean, going through some things, the album... Uh, it's got a lot of rave reviews out here. Folks saying that they loving to hear some new music from Boosie. Uh, question is, though, when we going to get some new music from Turk? And Man. can I get a uh, Turk and Boosie collab? Because, I mean, y'all yeah. want to talk about each other every five minutes. Yeah. Can y'all get on some goddamn uh, tracks and go crazy? Hey, you know, man, me and Boosie actually got, like, three records together, bro. And I think it was before their time, man. You know, Damn. we got Steal a Hot Boy together. Okay. Um, We got, I actually put Boosie on a record with Bankroll Fresh. 
called Ugh. Yeah. We were supposed to shoot the video for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bankroll wind up. You know, the situation wind up yeah. happening to him, yeah. and we didn't wind up doing it. Then we got another record called um, Take Him Back. Yeah. You feel me? And um, we never just really was able to, like, put the videos out for it and the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is. But, you know, I think a Turk and Boosie collab, man, is much more, you know, um, relevant today as it would have been back in the days you yeah. feel me but the powers that be i just feel like you know what i'm saying they don't want that mm. they don't want that you know what i'm saying boost a real nigga I, I got the utmost respect for him you feel yeah. me i'm just in a part of my life bro well you know people got to learn how to understand where i be coming from when i be you know speaking coming my your mind shit. Yeah. you feel me yeah. because it's like it's cool when they do it but then I could come say the same shit. Yeah. And it's not receptive as, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is for somebody else. And, you know, it's like a popularity thing, man, these mm -hmm. days. You feel me? And these kids, they don't know no better. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, and and that's what it's all, you know, barring down to, bro. Like, you know, the kids see, okay, he got more social influence over here. If he say this, I'm going to go with him. Yeah. You feel me? Versus going with what's right. You feel me? Yeah. And um, it's crazy, man, you know. But it is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? This is what we're dealing with, man. You feel me? But I don't have shit against him. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? But, like, it could have been anybody. If I fuck with you, yeah. I'm going to pull your coattail. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's. I feel like I can, same way how he did that song. You yep. feel me? Like, I thought Turk felt the same way. <laughs> so now I, I I know you feel the same way when it come to being respectful and disrespectful. Yeah. Because one thing I do understand, bro, when a, when, when a nigga go to that penitentiary. Come on now. I don't give a fuck how a nigga feel about what a nigga did or what a nigga saying. Niggas going to mind their business. Come on. And niggas going to be respectful. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what it is. So why wait till we get in a situation where we in a penitentiary where it's respect is demanded? Like, you you got the respect. Uh, you know, nigga going to check it. Exactly. You feel me? And a lot, of, a lot of dudes get in those situations and they beat up. Man, go in front of that man in that black robe. Come on. Yes, your honor. Where that respect came from when you can't respect your brother. You can't mm. respect your sister. You feel me? But you respect your honor. Yes, your honor. Well, your honor, you know, you know, you get real humble, bro. And we all guilty of that. I had to learn how to respect, you feel me? And I know that everybody is not on the level of, you know, mentally where I'm at, you feel yeah. me? But, bro, that shit take you a long way. 